Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, I'll be sharing some tips for working with video clips in Ableton Live. Ableton Live allows you to import QuickTime movie files. Those are the video clips that end with a .mov file extension, and you can play them just like any other audio clip inside of Live's arrangement view. When you place a video clip into Live's arrangement view, you'll notice that the clip header looks like a film strip. This indicates that Live recognizes it as a video clip as opposed to an audio clip. When you import a video clip, the video window will appear. If it doesn't do so automatically, you can always go ahead and go up to the View menu and then select Video Window. This floating window will appear above Ableton Live's interface for as long as you have it open. You can resize it by clicking and dragging on the corner, and you can put it into full screen mode by double clicking on it. This is great if you have a second monitor and you're composing a track to the video that you have, or if you're just trying to incorporate visuals into your live performance and you're using a projector hooked up to your laptop. To exit the full screen mode, simply double click on the video window again. Editing video clips works very much the same way as editing an audio file. So that means that you can trim it, you can move it around, and you can add audio effects to the track that has a video clip on it. So for example, if I wanted to add a compressor, I could simply go and add it to this channel here, which has a video clip, and it would affect the sound that I have embedded in that video file. For the most part, Live pretty much just ignores the video aspects and lets you do whatever you want with the clips as if they were just an audio file. However, there are a few commands that will convert your video clips into audio clips, and you will no longer be able to use the video that's in them. Those are Consolidate, Reverse, and Crop. It's important to note that Ableton Live is not a program like Resolume that allows you to do any video mixing. The question then is how does Live react when you place multiple video clips on top of each other in the arrangement view? And the answer is that Live will always display the video in the lowest audio track. So you can see that I have two different clips on my arrangement view, one in channel one and one in channel two. Because I have my playhead in this middle section here, you'll see that the clip called Words will always appear in the video window. That's true even if I go ahead and disable this track. The one exception is if you remove different segments of the clip. So if I go and simply delete this section here and then put my cursor over that middle section, you'll see that it displays the video clip in the next highest track. Ableton Live will keep looking at the next highest track to find some video to fill in. So if I go ahead and bring all of this down to the next level of tracks, so I'm just going to go and drag all of them. Then I'm going to duplicate this and put it in that section in the center and play this. You'll see that it goes from one to the next and it just keeps going to the highest level to find a video to show in the video window. Now whether you are editing video clips together or you are editing audio to video, you can save a mix down of the audio and video of your live set by going up to the file menu and then selecting export audio video. If you want to export the video with the audio, you're going to want to make sure that you select this option, create video file. Underneath you have the option of a video encoder and you have the encoder settings by clicking on the edit button. And depending on what operating system and what video codecs you have installed on your computer, you're going to be given different options. When you're ready, simply click the button OK at the bottom. If you want to play around with video clips in Ableton Live, click on the link in the video description below and download the video clips that I used in this video tutorial. If you would like to learn more about Ableton Live, watch our other video tutorials at thedjpodcast.com. Thanks for watching.